Hello and welcome, Corbin here with a new video on the latest Fall Guys update, Season 4, Creative Construction. For those who own the game still on Steam, it is now almost an out-of-the-box experience, so if you install it for the first time, you just have to manually also install the Easy Anti-Cheat Runtime. But if you are updating, you have the Easy Anti-Cheat Runtime already installed, just verify the game files or via the settings menu and developer delete the Proton files and then it should work if it doesn't work out of the box already. Unfortunately, via the Epic Game Store version, we need a few more tweaks to get the game running again on the Steam Deck, but I will show you how to do that. So follow along the instructions. So first we have to switch to the desktop mode. We can do that by pressing the Steam button, power, and then switch to desktop. And here we are using Steam's Proton Experimental version. This is probably installed already. If not, click on the Steam icon library, go into the search field and hit Steam X to bring up the keyboard. Enter experimental. And if not installed already, install Proton Experimental. If you haven't installed already, you also need to install the Heroic Games Launcher. You can do that via the Discover Software Center. Go into the search bar. Again, Steam X for opening the keyboard. Search for Heroic. I have this installed already. You can start it directly from here or it will be under the Application Launcher, Games, Heroic Games Launcher. And if you are not logged in already, go to Manage Accounts and then log in on Epic. After that, you go to Library. And if you haven't claimed the game yet, it is free to claim. You can search it in the Epic Game Store and claim it. I have it already claimed, so it is in my library. I click into the search bar and open with Steam X the keyboard again. Search for Fall Guys, tap on it, close the keyboard, and scroll down to hit Install. Here we are selecting Proton Experimental. You can also use any recent GE Proton version, and then we hit Install. Once the installation has finished, we click on the Settings icon. We make sure that Proton Experimental is selected. We click on Easy Anti-Cheat Runtime and select this. We scroll down, open Other, and on Select an Alternative EXE to Run, we click on the Folder icon, and here we go to Home, Games, Heroic, Fall Guys, scroll down to runfallguys.exe. We select this, and when we close this again by clicking here on the side or on the X icon, it will also ask us to enable Game Mode, so we click on Yes. And we start the game for the first time, which will create the wine prefix, which is needed before we install the rest. It will ask us to install the Microsoft C++ redistributables. This will only happen once, both for 32 and 64 bit. The game does start, but it will kick us out again with a missing files error message. Right, so we close again. Now we can also enable the EOS overlay, so we go to the three dot menu, enable EOS overlay, wait for the circle to finish, go back to the settings icon, scroll a little bit down, and click on run exe on prefix. And here we select the Epic Online Services folder, double click on it, and select the Epic Online Services installer, click on select, and this is now running in the background without any feedback. It should finish within like seconds. We close this and start the game once more. Now this will open again a little console window, and it will install the Epic Online Services, which is showing with its own installer. We wait for the installation to finish. It gives us again the easy anti-cheat splash screen. And now we won't have the missing files error anymore. We see the next splash screen. 
And we can accept everything and hit on start. To verify that EAC is correctly working, we are quickly trying to join a match. We could also invite friends now by clicking down here on the V marked button. But this is only happening because I'm using the touchpad. As soon as I switch to gamepad controls, it will switch back to gamepad overlay. But yeah, let's join a match real quick. Because here we would have been kicked out already as soon as we tried to connect to a server. But this is working. So we back out again. Close the game. Because there's one step missing. To make this a little bit more convenient in gaming mode, we go to the three dots icon and click Add to Steam. On the next restart of Steam, it will show in the Steam library. And this is also happening by returning to game mode. In game mode, we can open the library and go to the non-Steam tab. And here we have Fall Guys now as an entry. And we can play it from the overlay. It will also give us the console window once, otherwise unfortunately it doesn't work, but this is just a minor cosmetic inconvenience. The game does work and you can actually play Fall Guys Season 4 on the Steam Deck through Heroic using the Epic Game Store version. Enjoy the game. I hope this helps. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video. Have a good one and bye bye.